If you're a fan of Team Mum UK, we've got some very exciting news because a new mother and daughter duo are about to hit your MTV screens. Letitia Grace, who you may remember from the Valley's and Big Brother, and her daughter Winter Grace are on a journey to make Winter a million pounds. And it's gonna be epic. Every moment is a cute moment with Winter. Like, she's honestly the most amazing, beautiful, smart, funny child. She's the best thing that has ever, ever, ever happened to me. I saw it with my own two eyes. Beyonce is the greatest entertainer to ever live and the queen of music. Form an orderly cue, people, because I know we all want a chance to talk about Beyonce's Coachella performance. 31 songs mashed up into 120 minutes. I mean, who else didn't lose their <laughs> With a 100 strong crew of backup dancers and a New Orleans style marching band behind her, a two hour history lesson with Queen Bee never felt so good. But the surprises didn't stop there as we also witnessed the return of Destiny's Child. Yep, Kelly and Michelle landed on stage and the 100,000 plus fans screaming in front of her didn't even come close to the noise of some of us watching at home. We broke down and the internet did too. Adele took to the gram filming her excitement which seemed to have turned into her warm up for Carnival 2018. A perfect reflection of the free moods we all went through during the performance. G'day, you Raj Packets. Geordie Shore season 17's been announced and YI, the lads and lasses, are about to hit up Down Under. Yep, the world's rowdiest reality TV stars have pied off the grey skies of Newcastle for some serious antics in the Australia sun. Geordie Shore series 17 smashes onto our screens on Tuesday 15th of May at 10pm. Belter, MTV exclusively caught up with the squad to chat about their favourite moments from the new series, plus there's a big comeback for one Geordie Ledge and a first look at some of the canny locals who've joined the Raji ranks. This is series 17 of Geordie Shaw and this time we've got a couple of new cast members. Hi guys, I'm Nick, I'm 22. Hi there, I'm Dee, I'm 24. Hi, I'm Alex, I'm 22. Hi, this is Adam from Geordie Shaw, I'm the new housemate and we are doing it literally down under. Australia! My favourite moment this series has definitely been 14,000 feet in the air in an aeroplane with the door open. I genuinely thought I was going to die, but at the same time, it's the most beautiful and peacefulest thing I've ever done. My favourite moment of this series has got to be just being back with my friends and having a f***ing mid time. Chris Jenner's told us the truth behind True. So in case you missed it, the internet is like side eye saying that Khloe Kardashian named her baby True just to throw shade at her boyfriend Tristan Thompson amid his cheating scandal. But Mamager Chris is spilling the real tea on Truth, posting on Insta, fun fact. My grandfather's name on my dad's side was True Otis Horton. My dad's name was Robert True Horton, so I am so excited Chloe named her daughter True. Hashtag family. Super cute. And can you believe True already has her own Instagram account with over 125k followers? Be right back, just gonna follow. And before you're like, why does a baby need Instagram? Cats have Instagram. I can't wait to see True posting casual pics like, just woke up best baby brunch and womb throwback. Two black men entered a Starbucks in Philadelphia. I obviously don't see the world through that lens, but hold on, it's important for the story. They meet up with their white friend who had bought a coffee. The two gentlemen go to use the restrooms, but are refused because they themselves haven't bought anything. Next thing you know, the Starbucks employees ask them to leave, and they don't, so they call the police, who show up and arrest them. What did they get called for? Because there are two black guys sitting here meeting me? Yes, I did. Well, what did they do? What did they do? Did someone tell me what they did? Since the incident, Starbucks have announced they're gonna shut 8,000 stores to undergo racial bias training, writing in a statement, we apologize to the two individuals and our customers and are disappointed this led to an arrest. We take these matters seriously and clearly have more work to do when it comes to how we handle incidents in our stores. We are reviewing our policies and will continue to engage with the community and the police department to try and ensure these types of situations never happen in any of our stores. It sounds like they're taking steps in the right direction, but only time will tell if these changes are truly beneficial. Taylor Swift reportedly has a stalker who was just arrested outside her home. Police allegedly found a knife, rope, ammunition and gloves inside his car when he was arrested. The man had apparently travelled over 1,000 miles to visit Taylor at her Beverly Hills mansion before a temporary restraining order was issued against him. This comes after news earlier this month of someone being arrested when they were climbing a wall to get into Taylor's home. Look, it's easy for us to always look at celebrities and think how lucky they have it. Expensive holidays, endless wardrobes, a fresh new pair of socks every day. But situations like this show that there's a much darker side to the job. We hope Taylor's doing okay and has some pretty decent CCTV cameras set up. Whatever you think of celebrities, no one deserves that. That is scary.